the strict royal law that means Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's kids won't be royals. For everything Prince Harry, Meghan Markle and the royal wedding, visit our royal wedding hub. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are sticking pretty well to their royal couple timeline. First royal outing, the royal engagement, the royal wedding, first royal appearance as husband and wife. Next, presumably, comes the honeymoon, and then kids. If they are to follow in the footsteps of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, Prince William, and Kate Middleton. But despite being close in laws, Prince Harry and Meghan's children will be different to Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis for one big reason. Thanks to a pesky royal family rule, the newlyweds' kids won't inherit the royal titles their cousins did. A letters patent issued by King George V in 1917 stated that only the children, and grandchildren of the sons of any sovereign in the direct male line will hold the titles of his, her royal highness, and prince and princess. In other words, there can only be three generations of royals with official HRH titles, and the third generation only if born to a prince. For example, the children of Prince Charles and Prince Andrew, Prince William, Prince Harry, Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie, all have royal titles. Zara Tindall, Nay Phillips, doesn't because she is descendant from the female line as the daughter of Princess Anne. Prince William and Kate's children are an exception to the rule because their father is directly in line to the throne. Princess Charlotte even more so, she squeezed through thanks to a change in the law the Queen made just months before her birth. Prince Harry, however, won't be king under predictable circumstances. Therefore, his children will take the titles Lord and Lady Mountbatten Windsor instead. That said, there are a few ways Prince Harry and Meghan's future offspring could become princes or princesses. One is if the Queen abdicates the throne or, bless her soul, passes away before Prince Harry and Meghan's children are born, making Prince Charles the sovereign. In this case, their children would be the grandchildren of the sovereign in the direct male line. The other is if the queen wishes it to be, because whatever she says, goes.